This company is what it is because of us. And we can do a lot more to make it even better if you just hear us out. Or you just wanna let it burn. What made me wanna be involved in this project was the idea of the American dream. Small town America is looked over, I think, a lot of times. And people's lives, people's jobs are not maybe the most glamorous, but they're real and they are the ones that keep the entire country going. And it's important that their stories are told. It's really just about the characters, and that, to me, was a huge motivation to want to make this movie. There's so much about the script that made me want to join it. Okay, let's get started. What are we waiting for? This is a movie about hope and about a community. The center of town is the factory that makes pencils, employs the most people in town, and people's livelihood depend on the pencil factory. Your company is a lot more than just a pencil factory. But you already knew that, didn't you? This movie is about a group of people in this town who work in this factory who are a family. And they feel that the factory they work in is also another home for them. In my previous life, I was a, in charge of a, a private investment group. I'll get back to you. Which uh, we had looked at acquiring a small pencil company and uh, was bought ultimately by an Italian company and moved it to Mexico City, which was devastating for that little town. In today's day and age, small companies get eaten uh, by the big companies. Pencils, right? It's a family business for over 100 years. Just hire a broker and sell it. It's a little more complicated than that. I, you know, it's, it's funny to talk about this so personally, but I felt a very similar relationship with uh, Michael, the way he goes back to his home, hometown from New York and, and how you reconnect with yourself. Michael's the perfect example of someone who worked on Wall Street, who was business-minded, felt that he had to be responsible, had to be an adult, had to cut out all of his emotions. It's all about the bottom line, isn't it? What other line is there? What happened to the Michael that I once knew? People's lives are at stake. We really have two protagonists in this movie. We have Michael and we have Charlie. I definitely think that Charlie was complimented by Michael. And I think they have this childhood history where they can really like get right to the core of each other. Get back to work. Charlie really is the rock of the movie. Charlie holds the fort together while it's all falling apart. You're either with us or with him. You can't have it both ways. I'm with the company. For Charlie, just like day to day, seeing that she's affecting people's lives was so much more fulfilling than a higher paying, higher powered job. It's like my greatest nightmare is coming true. You know, Michael, this, this entire town, it's all about to crumble away and there's nothing, nothing I can do about it. There are scripts that occasionally come across your way that say something that you know will be healing for the world that needs to be said. You're talking like it's already over. It's not. Maybe not for you, you're young, you're educated, you still have a future. But us, where do we go? Who wants us? I think of it very much like a Frank Capra movie. Reminds me of It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart in his town. It's not only about embracing the fact that good things happen to good people, but I think it also embraces the fact that hard work will pay off if you all put your energy into a higher level of thinking. This movie has such a fabulous inner point of view. I love it. And that's what makes it for an actor a joy and a calling. Like, no, this is a movie that I want to do. I do have some really good news for you. It's a tale that I think is timeless. It's about community and about teamwork. I think everyone should see this movie. I think there's a little something for everyone. Christmas cars to light.